I cut just below the fins. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did on this side when I roll it over. Then what I'm going to do is come up and come straight towards his head at an angle. Now I'm going to go ahead and make an outline of the fish. I'm going to make an incision down by the tail. Basically, anywhere before this this fin right here, because basically it's all cartilage, so you really don't want to, you're not going to lose any meat. So now what I'm going to do is spin it around a little bit, and I'm going to make an outline. I'm just going to go right across the upper part of the ribs or the bone. Right here by the upper fin, it's a little bit hard. There's a lot of cartilage, so you kind of got to press a little hard. So now basically, what I did was made a little incision to come, so I could come back and go deeper in, but it's just to fill the bone. Now what I'm going to do is also do another one on the opposite side here. All right, so I did the same thing with cutting the belly cavity open and then doing a little incision to fill the bones. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and come all the way back and I'm going to push my knife deep in enough to fill its vertebrae. And now I'm going to roll it over. I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did to the one side. Boom. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did to the opposite side. And this is that little pectoral fin. You want to cut around it. There's nothing there. And I'm going to do my same incision down by the tail. So now once I have it belly exposed, you can see the stomach lining here. There's, this is right where his ribs are. So what you want to do is you're going to follow the line right here. It's going to go straight across. Am I on your way? Nope, you're fine. Close up. So what I did was go ahead and follow the ribs. I broke the ribs apart. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it over and get rid of its head. Can you estimate how heavy that fish was? Um, 150 pounds. Get all the innards, all the gizzards. Okay, now. Ooh. Put him this way. Can I get a shot? Too late. That's cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the rib cage on this side also. Get the biggest crowd. Yeah, you might get a little bloody. I gotta try and break this little rib cage right here. Splash zone. All right, now I'm gonna outline again on this side. Now what I'm gonna do is separate it. So we should, what we should do is both sides. You should have two loins. So what I'm gonna do is there's an, an a line of a bloodline that goes straight down. It's kind of this line here. What I'll do is I'll follow it down to separate the one loin, the one upper loin. All right, now, once I separated that upper loin, 
I'm going to separate this lower loin here. And what I'm going to do is follow this bloodline. And it should just fall right off. So there you have your lower loin with your belly attached with your ribs that I was talking about. All right, so now I'm going to flip it on over and do the opposite side. Splash zone. Splash zone. And once again, I'm also following that line I showed you guys earlier. Other upper loin. And now I'm going to separate my lower loin. A yellow fin tuna. your end product should look like. So once you have it this way, I know a lot of people are used to peeling off the skin. Um, the only bad thing about peeling off the skin is you leave a little membrane on there. I don't know if you noticed that. And you really don't want that on your fish. It kind of gives it that fishy, kind of spongy taste. So what we like to do I'm going to show you, first off, at Fisherman's Processing, we like to take this membrane off the belly, because you really don't need it on the belly. But first, we want to remove the ribs and the bones. So what I like to do is I like to make a little bit so it separates. And what I'll do is I'll find the main bones up at the top of the here and just come straight down, rubbing right up against the bones so that I'm not getting too much meat off of it. Then once I get the ribs separated, I can start to peel off this membrane all in one shot. So now what I did was I completely removed those rib bones and the stomach lining. So now what you have is just pure meat. So that's ready to be barbecued, grilled up, whatever. You don't really have to attempt to touch anything. Um, I like to bake them. I usually put a little bit of seasoning on them. So now another thing is this bloodline. This is one main thing you want to get out of your piece of fish. Uh, this will make it real fishy if you have any of the red, red line in it. So what we'll do is we'll just slowly make an incision just to see. Because on this bloodline, on the, the yellow fin and blue fin, they kind of curve in. If you can see how it kind of goes in layers. Alright, so now what 
I did that. Right at the bottom, there's a little fin at the bottom. This is all cartilage right here. So what I like to do, and what we do at Fisherman's Processing, is we get rid of that cartilage right there. Because you don't need to eat that. And then what we do is we'll come down and go ahead and trim some of this bloodline off. Alright, so once I got that, what I like to do is I actually leave the belly on to remove the skin. So what I'll do is I'll leave the belly on, take my knife, and I'll actually actually guide my knife the same width of the belly, which will remove a lot of that, that extra cartilage from the skin. So as you can see now, you see where I started to peel off the skin? compared to leaving the skin on, you got nothing but pure meat right there. So now what I'll do is I'll just trim a little of this off. And now, like I said, you have your belly attached to that piece of skin. Now all you gotta do is it's pretty simple. As you can see right where I left, the belly starts and ends. So what we'll do is we'll just angle the knife come across and you have your belly meat. All right, so once you have your loin like this, it's ready to be prepared any way you want. Um, over at Fisherman's Processing, it is totally up to your choice if you want to have it sushi cut. The sushi cut now is usually on the upper loin, but I'm going to show you what we do. Is what we'll do is we'll take the shoulder off and we'll take a little bit into it so this will be past the shoulder so we usually have a sushi block and what we do is we leave it like that for you to take home and you can sashimi it any style any way you like but another way we like to do especially on a bigger fish like this believe it or not they make really good one inch steaks which is makes it just ready ready to go right on the grill and believe it or not, this fish was frozen. <laughs> no. So, basically that's how we do it at Fisherman's Processing. Um, the option is up to you guys. We do it, like I said, any way, any style. We're used to doing it how you guys want it. Does anybody have any questions? It's dinner. <laughs>